Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to my garden and today I'm very excited. I just got up this morning and I looked at my squash plant and finally the first female squash flower has opened up and blossomed and look at how beautiful this thing looks. And look at how large this fruit is. It's basically almost the size of like my finger here. So there's actually a second one right next to it. This thing took such a long time to open up and get nice and big and ready to be pollinated for me to the point where I don't have any more male flowers actually. And the only male flowers that are gonna be left are the new ones that are still starting to regrow and develop again. So unfortunately, I don't have any male flowers to pollinate with, but thankfully, I saved some of the pollen, whatever was left from the, basically the last two male flowers that were here before they completely wilted away. I saved it and just last night I saved the second one. I tried to leave the second flower on the squash plant for as long as, long as possible. And I watched this thing all day long yesterday. I kept coming in here every single maybe half hour just to like see if the flower opens up because it kept looking like it's about to open it's about to open and nothing happened all night long so at the very end i just decided to clip the last male flower and transfer whatever pollen was left in in this little container so i mean i've never pollinated this way before but honestly this was my only option of saving pollen without losing the actual fruit here so hopefully that works. So basically where I'm gonna come in now, I'm gonna take a little paintbrush and I'm gonna try to pollinate this thing. So let me just see if I could unscrew this jar with one hand real quick. There we are. We have the jar basically unscrewed. We have the pollen right there. Now being that I have two flowers there, I'm not gonna use all of the pollen right now just in case. I'm gonna use about half of it and try to save the other half for the second flower there. This way I have two fruits growing instead of one. So now basically all you want to do is come in with a little paintbrush and basically take some of the pollen. As you see, go transfers to the paintbrush. And now you want to transfer that to the male flower right in the middle and all around basically. And I don't think there's a a rule of thumb of how much pollen you want to put in this flower. I feel like the more pollen you put in it and the more around it goes all over, the better chances probably. So we have a good amount of pollen in here, so I'm going to do a little bit more. And let's get this part inside the flower. The very inside basically. Just Move that around. There we go. And just to make sure it's all of the, see, everything got transferred off of the paintbrush. It's now in there. You could actually see a tiny bit of pollen on the leaf there. So let me just see if I can knock that in there. There we go. So if I zoom you in, you could basically see all of the pollen is all around the female flower. And I think that's basically it. That should be probably enough pollen that the female needs. The female flower, I should say. And hopefully it starts, I'll know in the next few days, once this female flower starts to wilt away. And I'll know based on the fruit if it starts to dry up and wilt away or if it starts getting nice and plump and big for me so this is basically day one of pollinating and how to pollinate a female squash flower and a, a squash plant so we'll come back in a couple days and see if it worked hopefully it did and i'll be growing some nice indoor squash in a little hydroponic cracky system little gla glass jar so thanks for watching and as always don't forget to hit the thumbs up and share with a friend. Thanks.